We are live. Hello, John. And before we do anything else, I'm going to play you a song. Loving can hurt. Loving can hurt sometimes. But it's the only thing that I know. It gets hard. But it's the only thing that makes us feel alive. Keep us loving a photograph. Make these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closing, hearts were never broken, times forever frozen still. And that's where I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> well done that is fantastic i think it's the first time i've been uh, introduced with a, with a fantastic song so serenaded indeed, indeed, serenaded. indeed, indeed. Now, now every time i get somebody on the first question i ask is why on earth did you choose that song well you're the headshot guy you take photos the song's called photograph i don't need to be a rocket science scientists to work out why do i <laughs> it's self-explanatory we sent me through the list and you didn't have flashbang what a, what a picture on there by by tommy Steele. otherwise that would have been that would have been first choice oh, but yeah, photograph seems, seems appropriate especially uh, those lyrics about the keeping the memory, memories in the photograph you know that and, and we've, we've always got those photographs to look back on our memories and uh, yeah just uh, fantastic lyrics there no no thank you um yeah so we we actually did that at the weekend john it was my daughter's birthday and um so we dug out we, we, she wanted a theme um she didn't know what she wanted <clears throat> but we used to go to key camp when we were kids or when they, when they were kids so we dug out all the old photos from when they were at key camp and we, we we just had a great fun time but yeah we were there flicking through all the photographs and how cheeky they were and we've got my grandson staying at the moment as well and there was a couple of photos of the girls when they were younger looking very similar to, to this little young man. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's lovely looking back on photos. How many photos do you reckon you've taken in your life? Cool. That would be a good a good um, thing to work out, actually. Thousands, thousands, hundreds yeah. of thousands, you know. Um, I mean, it's obviously the photographs that you take, you know, everything that you take, but what everybody sees then is not quite as many because there's a few, you know, there's a few that, that uh, don't uh, that end up on the cutting room floor um but it's been you know thousands and thousands and you know fortunate enough to have those thousands and thousands of pictures seen by well millions and millions of eyeballs really because one photo wow. photograph um especially back in the day when i was working for the times you know you've had a front page of the times you know that's been seen by by you know thousands and thousands of people so uh yeah it's all uh it's always it's always joy to see see the, your your images in print and uh, and to see your name underneath them as well. Oh, fantastic! So so you you've actually had a one of your photos on the front page of the Times. Oh, several several yes. Wow! Well, it's, How was yeah, cool that? The front and and the back page. The back page is not quite so uh, so um, so glamorous as such. But I, I when I worked for the uh, the Times, I did a lot of sport and sports features. So obviously, sport takes over the back pages. Uh, yeah. Occasionally, then they would uh, it would transpire and get on the front page. And uh, yeah, if you go to the, the newsstand and see your picture there shining out, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's a great feeling. Wow, that's amazing. Do, did you do you keep the 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 the, the edition? Yeah, no, I've got, I've got boxes of cuts actually in my lockup. I need to actually digitize them sometime. I've got um, Muji boxes, you know, huge big Muji box, about five or six of them, just full of cuts. Um, but so one one day when I when I retire, perhaps I'll uh, I'll. Stand You're up. never gonna retire. No, You're never gonna retire. No. <laughs> anyway, this is 15 minutes behind the profile, so it's my chance to be nosy about the people that are on LinkedIn. So first of all, um, how long have you been on LinkedIn, John? I've been on LinkedIn since the third of April, two thousand and eight. So that's wow, um, donkey years. 14 years yeah yeah it's quite amazing because that's really when I started working for myself as well so it's, it's about April 2008 when I actually started finished working you know working with the times and started my own business really uh so it's um yeah I almost got jumped onto LinkedIn straight away when I started my own business 
Ah, oh, fantastic. And um, uh, what 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 do you like about LinkedIn? I think it's a great platform. It's, it's you know it's changed over the years. I mean, I was told you know everyone needs to have a profile on LinkedIn, and it's and it's gone more you know from that recruiters platform beforehand. Um, now it's a sort of it's a it's a it's a go to platform. You know, and there's more and more social, there's more and more personal stuff being added to there, which I think it makes the platform good. You know, people say, oh, this is not Facebook, but it's a platform people want to engage, you know, and I find, you know, you put up more social based content on there, interesting content, and that's what people want to uh, to connect with and engage with. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I love it as a platform. Ah, fantastic. And um, do you use other social media regularly? I do. I'm, I I jump in and out of social media, depending on how busy I am. You know, obviously when you when you run your own business, when you when you're working in it and on it. Um, so I've you know I've got Instagram account. You know, I've got a Twitter account. I don't use that as, as often. I've got a couple of things on Facebook. Um, it's my next sort of go to. I've got a couple of groups on Facebook, um, which um, I use. You know, I've got a photo a day for wellness group. Which people uh, encourages people to go out and take photographs every day to help their help their mental health, you know, to go out and see things and post those pictures online. And um, I'm in, you know, a couple of other sort of uh, sort of swimming groups on on Facebook. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's sort of my main thing. Um, no, perfect, perfect. Um, I'm going to come to your wellness and your photos. I just, just want to do, do, yeah, do yeah. the link. I do, do the LinkedIn bit first, and then, yeah, and then remove that. And 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 that's and that is absolutely spot on. Um, it, it's great that it's less formal. Um, and 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 so we're just trying to get more people to to do more stuff. My post today was all about why don't you just post? Don't be scared, just do it. So um, that that's the thing. I think it's um, getting to the habit of posting as well. I mean, people, they hold them maybe to start with, but once you start doing it, then it just comes naturally. You know, it's like anything really. Yeah. You yeah. Just, you know, and again, when I first started sending my, my newsletters, it's like, oh, should I send, should I send, should I send, you know, and then you're starting to get in the habit and it's like, oh, yeah, just send, that's fine. You know, yeah, absolutely. Thing? <laughs> yeah, what is what is the worst that's going to happen? That's the thing. No, sorry, I, I'm going to rephrase that because it's not that. It's what's the best that can happen. Actually, yeah, I love that. Yeah. You should be thinking, what's the best that can happen? Out I this? like that. Yeah, I like that. Because that is, you know, that's me. That's that positive trying to switch things from, from a negative to a to a positive framing. Yeah, no, absolutely. I love that. I love that. Um, So how much time do you reckon you spend a day on LinkedIn, John? Um, I probably probably about 15, 20 minutes or so. I mean, it's always open on my browser, so I'm I'm skipping back and forth. You know, messages come in and things like that, and I just you know go on and just have a look through the feed at, at a time. You know, if I'm in between shoots or or whatever. I don't. There's nothing set. I don't have a set schedule as such. It's not like I get up and spend the first fifteen minutes of my day on on LinkedIn. I'm sort of jump, jumping in and out throughout the day. No, oh, perfect. Perfect. And do you get business at the best uh, 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 on uh, from LinkedIn? Yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Quite a quite a lot actually. Um, it's a good place to. You know, all my target audience are on there. Obviously, everyone's got a profile on LinkedIn. Everyone's got a space for a uh, for a, for a profile photograph. You know, and that's when we come in. So, yeah, you know, my first thing to get on LinkedIn, you know, all those years ago was to see. You know, that that's where my market is. That's where my product will be delivered as such. So that was one of the one of the reasons of get getting on there in the first place. But yeah, you just you know you, you build up, and I get messages all the time, you know, from people or, or recommended, which is the best way of uh, of getting business on LinkedIn. It's been it's been known for doing something, known for doing it really really well, and other people know about that, and and they recommend you. You know, so if someone says I'm looking for a headshot photographer, then you know quite often my name pops up or they 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 tag me in the post and uh make make the connection yeah no absolutely perfect that's 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 the 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 the, the great thing about linkedin is because we all know lots of different people oh yeah i'll um i'll, I'll do that uh Claire, claire's um being funny here why why is john a contender for my title and which title's that claire yeah which title that's which, so, which, yeah. which, which which title <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not that i've got loads <laughs> 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 so yeah, spill the spill the beans, Claire. Um, do you have a, a best time of day that works for you for posting content? No, I, I I'm not a um, I'm not a big sort of data 
data geek type thing with recording times and and everything else i, I put stuff up i think it's got me gut and a lot of it's down to um you know you just put put it up there when when you think you know if, if it's gonna hit and it's going to hit the right notes. It's going to hit the right notes whenever you post it. You know, the right people, the right eyeballs are going to see it. Then, uh, then there is. I don't think it's the right time or a wrong time. Um, Any time is. You know, just get it up there. No, absolutely, absolutely. So you you you're the headshot guy. You take photos. Yes. What what one, one of the things that strikes me is when you look at people's profiles and you see their photos. Do you cringe and scream and? And, and pull your hair out or, or what, what, what do you do? Cause some, you know, most, most photo or sorry, not most, but quite a lot of them there at, at a, a function, maybe a wedding because that's the last time they wore a suit mm. and you can see that, you know, the, 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 the partner sort of like almost in the shot or what have you. Hand on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or hide in the glass. Yeah. To be honest, I don't anymore. I used to. I used to, and then used to try and you know tell people you need a picture because 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 you know. And now I get people coming to me saying I need a picture because 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 you know the exact reasons that I was saying all those years ago. Um, it, people, I think people realise the importance of getting their whole profile correct, and not just their picture. I mean, a picture is part of that profile, but getting their profile out there. Um, and people expect you to have these things now. It's uh, you know, if you've not got a profile on LinkedIn or you know, people can't find you online, then do you really exist? You know, yeah, I think it's people, you know, I'm, I'm more, you know, yes, yeah, some people use pictures and some people use pictures that are years and years and years and years old, you know. I mean, I, I met someone in networking and they were using the picture 14 years ago. They're still using that picture. There's nothing like them anymore. But that's up to them. I mean, I can't persuade. They're obviously using that for a reason, you know, vanity probably. But, uh, you know, if they turn up at a, a meeting, for example, and people say, oh, I, I was expecting your younger sister or something Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Your daughter yeah. even, you know. Um, or your Ooh. son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. But, I mean, that's up to people, you know. Um, we're here. We, you know, I, I we're here to offer that service to the people that actually realise actually I need to do this. I need to step up the game um, and and get this done professionally. You know, um, because they know it's going to make a difference to them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Claire's saying that uh, you, 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 you do yeah. fifteen minutes. So uh, <laughs> sorry, just the wheels. Uh, wheels. Do, do, do you know well? Do you? <laughs> yes. Oh yes, I think. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's that, that's okay then, because I, I I saw that come in and I thought, oh, do I put that up or not? So uh, <laughs> I, I guess I guess he did. Uh, afternoon, Will. How are you? So um, Will's Will's going to be uh, sat in that chair um, in a, in, a, in a couple of months' time, John. So uh, oh, fantastic! Um, so, so I, I, I'll, I'll make sure you know so you can come in. Very flies ready. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So you're the headshot guy. So. But I know that you're not dashing around all over the country taking headshots of people. No, no. Um, in fact, I'm not dashing around the world taking headshots of people. However, I am taking headshots around the world. In fact, this morning I had a shoot in Nairobi. Wow. So, uh, virtual air miles. Yeah, because of the uh, the, the pandemic, um, we managed to you know, get an app which allows us to do remote shoots now. So location's not really an issue. Um, and that's been a lifesaver over the past year with, with COVID and all the restrictions with that. Um, but it's also helped us now, you know, become a, a global business because location is no longer um, a barrier, you know. So we offer now the, you know, people to come into the studio to, to do one-to-one -one shoots. We, we go to visit them or we can do it remotely via, via tech, um, which is... Uh, you know, it's a, a COVID positive. As I said earlier, I always look for the positive in things. So, you know, one of the positives to come out of that is the, the fact that we've, uh, you know, that we can now do a, you know, operate a global business from wherever I am in the world as well. Yeah, no, perfect. Um, so we talked about your Facebook group for your photos and your wellness. So, you know, talk, talk to us a little bit about that and, and what all that means and, and how can people join? Yeah, well, the Facebook group came about really, you know, through lockdown. And I, you know, I did lots of walking, you know, 
for the first period of lockdown, I was, you know, we, we were unable to work anyway because of restrictions and, you know, we didn't have the app at that time. Um, so, you know, I was out walking and then started taking photographs and, and actually got back my passion for taking photographs, you know, whereas before it was more, you know, for work, work, work and didn't take many pictures for myself as such and found that I was actually sort of a more of a wellness thing, you know, it was, I felt good, you know, actually seeing things and taking photographs and, and I, I just, it just came to me one, you know, I'm into you know, personal development and I was meditating one morning and this, this idea came, well, I want to start a group, you know, and I started a group, you know, called it a photo a day for wellness and trying to encourage people just to go out and see things and, and stop and look at things more importantly, you know, rather than just head down on the phone pass and the whole world by them. It's just to stop and appreciate things, look at, you know, look at things in different ways. And what I've noticed is people that, you know, started on there and the photography skills have just completely grown. It's, a, it's amazing to see it. people that, you know, first of all, when they're taking, they were just taking snaps almost. And now, you know, they're really stopping and thinking about it. And some of the comments on there are, are brilliant, you know. Um, and we've got, a, you know, really, really talented bunch of photographers on there and, you know, enjoying photography, enjoying photography for, what it's meant to be, you know, and sharing those images and getting the comments on those images and also, you know, helping their own, their own wellness, their own mental health. No, uh, and, and, and that, that's the amazing thing. I, I'm very, very fortunate. I live right by the sea. And um, when, when it's a, a nice bright morning, there's a load of people out there taking photos. Um, you know, pe people like yourself with it, with the tripod and the proper camera and that they're, they're waiting and what have you. And then you get the runners quickly stopping and, and, and taking it on their phones. But it, it's anyone all, can do it, can't they? All, all mine are taken on here. Yeah. You know, really? uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point of it. I mean, the thing is, if you get, you know, you're going out of all this professional equipment, which is, which is all good. It, but it's not not necessarily all about that. It's about the in the moment. What you, you know, you can take some amazing photos. It doesn't matter what tool you're using. It's 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 through here and what you see, you know, and capturing it through here. So it's actually about the way you look at things. You know, there's there's no difference to the photograph whether you're using a you know ten thousand pound latest camera or, or or a mobile phone. Really, it's still capturing the picture. I mean, that's what it's about. It's not about oh, well, this was taken on whatever the technical details. It's about getting a photograph. You yeah, know, that you enjoy looking at, and other people enjoy looking at, um, and quite you know to be honest, the, you know the, the quality of the pictures on on the mobile phones these days is fantastic. So you know, it's more about say getting noticing, stopping, and seeing things, and thinking why is that nice? You know, what happens if I just look around at a different angle at it, and just stopping and just being in in the moment with what you're with what's in front of you? Yeah, no, we we um. So, so my, my daughter, obviously, with, with the with the grandson, she is taking photos all the time. And um, oh, I've still I've got it here. I took this down the beach because we, we were all there. It was it was my, my daughter's birthday. So it's just a it's just a tripod. Yeah. And um, so what I did is I put the phone on the tripod and, and carried it down low. And the, the, the little lad was was running around. And my daughter's got the app on her phone. So she just she can take photos on on, yeah. on her sorry, on her watch. Yeah. Um, and so she was taking photos of him smiling and giggling while down low. So the images yeah. were, were amazing with the bright oh, blue yeah. sky behind him. So it's, it's just like you say, thinking of different angles rather well, that than is, just the noise. That is, you know, one of the, the tricks in photography, you know, looking at a usual subject from an unusual angle. You know, and obviously children, if you photograph children, you want to get down to their height. Yeah, you know, and yeah. see their their view of the world. I mean, that's been years since I've had a child's eye view of the view of the world. But just got by getting low or getting high, you know, just changing those angles, and you've got a completely different perspective on on things. No, no, absolutely. Super. If, if anyone's got any photos for John, then then please please fire away. Um, so, how many hours do you currently work um, in your business, and does that work for you? Um, well, I'm in business for myself and it's just most self-employed or business owners, founders out there realize, you know, you, you work, you work when you need to work. So, you know, I, you know, I, I, um, yeah, I work virtually every day of the week. But the thing is as well is, is I, if I want to take a cheeky afternoon off or a day off, then I can do as well. So, uh, I mean, it's all, you know, there's a goal at the end of the business, you know, to, to grow the business. So, uh, you know, I put it, I put in the, the hours and and you know are uh, equally rewarded for that. Ah, fantastic. Um, 
So when you're not working, when you're not on LinkedIn, what does what does John get up to? John, John is um, into personal development. So I love, you know, we've got loads and loads and loads of books that I'm reading, old old books, uh, old authors uh, like Christian D. Larson and Neville Goddard and Thomas Troward, all the sort of the, the new thought movement, you know, the, the pre the predecessors of, you know, I guess the Tony Robbins and, and those people today, but this isn't the older language, you know. So, you know, personal development goes back years and years and years. And um, one of the other things I do to keep myself uh, active is cold water swimming. I'm really into cold water swimming at the moment. And obviously in February, the water is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. cold, cold open water swimming. So I'm out four mornings a week now on the, over on the river or in the lake at, uh, you know, four or five degrees and uh and it is absolutely it's just brilliant i love it you know it's just makes you feel so good um the thing is on a sunday morning it's you know you're lying there at six o'clock covered you know snuggled up in your duvet it's feeling nice and warm um and then i sort of remember that half an hour later when i'm in the when swimming in the water when it's four you know three or four degrees and I've got exactly that same feeling in my body that I'm just in my happy place. And, you know, it's like chalk and cheese between the two. Um, but uh, it's, it's really, really popular now. And, you know, I've, I've been swimming for open water swimming for about the last 10 months. So this is my first winter as such. Um, but it's, yeah, I love it. Got a little comment here. Um, <laughs> so, without the cold water part, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Snuggling up in the duvet, yeah, and that and, and that that is super, super, super cold, isn't it? Because we we obviously as I as I walk past the, the the beach every morning, there's a lot of people out there swimming every morning. But the, it's a bit, little bit warmer, isn't it, in the sea? It is. Um, I went down to Sandbanks on Friday actually, and it was. I sort of went in and thought, oh, this is quite warm actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but positively balmy. Oh, yeah. Um, and then Sunday back in the lake when it was, in fact, actually the, the lake temperature at the moment was about five degrees on Sunday, so it's not too bad. You know, but I'm, I'm one of these swimmers as well. I, I, I swim in skins, so I don't wear a wetsuit. I, you know, I've got uh, I put my I've got gloves and socks up. You know, that I put on when it's when it's really cold because. You've got to enjoy it as well. You know, yeah, the energies yeah. get really can get really cold. Um, but this is a great feeling just when you get out. You're like you're hot, you're cold, uh, you're just buzzing. You know, and, and that lasts all day as well. You know, so uh, and especially and the, you know it, it's not just the swimming. It's when you when you're there. You know, and the, and the sun's just rising and it's a beautiful frosty clear morning. It's just you know it's bliss. Really, is. I'm just freeze. Right? Right? Uh, no, no, you, you, you are, you are selling it. My, my wife is into it. My, my wife loves, loves going down. Um, but she's not a very strong swimmer. But she, she'll to like, right, I'm off, I'm off, and off she'll go. Um, I suffer with the cold. I have uh, Raynaud's uh, syndrome, so my, my fingers go absolutely white. So, it really isn't a good idea for me to ju go jumping in. Um, but if you get yourself a good pair of gloves, you know, there's some good. Um, there's the zone three heat tech ones, which I've got, and they, they are just, you know, they, they make it more comfortable. You know, you've got to be comfortable. You've got to enjoy it. You know, um, again, doing that sort of, uh, the, the flipping people call it madness. I call it wellness, you know, it yeah, is yeah, yeah. It absolutely feels really good. Um, but if you don't, you know, the thing is as well, if you don't want to do that, do cold showers, you know, do cold showers every morning, which I do as well. And that acclimatizes the body. Yeah. Um, so when you are jumping in, I mean, the first few times when you go in, it is like, yeah, ugh, what am I doing? Um, but if you're doing cold showers every day as well, then that that helps, and again, you get that same that same effect. Yeah, I I I, I tried the other day, and it's like, oh, that, 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 it's like, can I keep it on a little bit longer? It is, it it, it is, it's quite quite weird. Anyway, thank you very much for your time today. I've got one more question for you. I just got a couple of um, a couple of uh, things to to show here. So uh, let's just get rid of that banner a second because next week i've got the delightful catherine uh dias coming on to have a chat um but before that on monday i am helping people uh create a linkedin banner so um f using the free version of canva i'm gonna take you from where you were to something that stands out a little bit so uh, nice. that'll be here on my channel 
Absolutely free of charge and uh, using the free version of Canva as well. So there's, there's, there's no excuse for having a bad photo because we speak to John and there's no excuse for having a bad banner because I'm going to show you how next week. So, so right, if you right. feature on your banner like you have as well, that, that's, that's even better, you know, and if it, it's, uh, you know, especially if you're, you're running your own business. It's, yeah, absolutely. It's... Absolutely. Uh, right. Okay. So what tip would you give your 16 year old self? <sighs> Like it's, it's Nike, just do it. Just go for it. You yeah. Know, you know, what's the best that can happen? Yeah, I love that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to remember that one. That can happen. What's yeah. the best that can happen? And that's, that really is, you know, we're all, especially what we've, we've, we've seen, you know, what the world's been like the past two years. And uh, it is, you, you know, there's a lot of negativity. I mean, I don't, you know, one of the things I don't do, I don't watch the news or anything. So I just tune out of all that stuff completely. And, uh, you know, and that helps with positive mindset as well. No, super duper. John, you've been a lovely guest. Thank you very much. Great to catch up. Um, uh, Annette is uh, applauding you as well. And uh, Jonathan, stay warm. Stay warm. <laughs> Absolutely. So thanks, <laughs> thanks, everybody, for joining in. See you again soon. John, thank you very much. Thank you bye. very much indeed. It's been a pleasure.